Hi guys, so the fish are going good. I had a few hiccups with the filter. As you can hear, it's quite loud. And at first I thought, okay, it's so loud, I can't handle it. So I put, I doubled the crap treasures up so that, um, so that it wouldn't be such a hard flow coming out. But then it was only going through one part of the media and it started getting murky. So I put the cartridges back where they belong and then I tried putting some carbon sponge inside the filter lid to try and make it quieter but that didn't work. Originally it did work and it did stop the loud noise and it kept on filtering but not very effectively. Uh, so what I'm gonna try and do because I did try to put that carbon sponge into the lid to try and break up the flow a bit in hopes that would make it more quiet but I'm going to go and buy some of those little round ball media balls and try and put them through the filter a little bit to see if it will break up the, flow, the sound of the flow it'll still keep on flowing through I won't let it get blocked this little guy with the Oh no, that's a little double floor tail. He's very, he's very social. He wants to be everyone's friend and everyone else seems to be preoccupied. So he goes around saying hi to everybody, including the snail. And the one that has a damaged tail up there from the pet shop, because it got nipped at, its tail already shows signs of healing. like. It had already shown some signs that it had been mending itself because I could see that it had filled in where there was a little rip there but I can see colour coming back on it now. I really hope that it's gonna like fully heal. And this guy, I lost him before, I didn't know where he was but he was up inside the little lighthouse. I was a bit worried about him because he I put in a piece of cucumber for him yesterday and it had kind of, he sat on it and it had kind of fallen over on him. I don't know if he was stuck or he just wanted to to stay that way but he ate a massive hole the size of his body from a good thick slice of cucumber about that thick. But I got worried that maybe because I couldn't find him I thought maybe he buried himself in here or had gone up into the filter or something and I wonder if he's gonna eat the broccoli I put broccoli and carrot in there I'm still learning about how much this guy needs to eat I get the feeling he ate so much last night that he's maybe he's hibernating today I don't know he looks like he's hibernating he did eat a massive wad of cucumber and the water is looking much better since I corrected the filter. I don't know how long I should leave vegetables in there for. I just put it in at night and then take it out in the morning. And another thing I realise is if you're going to feed bloodworms, do it on the day that you're going to clean your tank because it's kind of hard to get all the leftover bloodworms out. I was hoping that he's going to eat them but there's still a few in, left in there and it was the first day so now I have to kind of look at a bit of grot on the bottom till I clean that out and so their day is going to be a Saturday from now on I'm going to get bloodworms on Saturday and this is the day I'm going to do my water change and yeah I don't know how long I should leave the veggies in there for they are eating them still um, I don't want them to go rotten, I don't want to ruin the pH in the water and well ultimately I just want the fish to be healthy and happy I mean that's the main goal isn't it I can watch these guys for hours, is it weird that I can watch fish and just not be bored? it's crazy like I knew people that had fish and I never even looked at them but it's because it's not your fish, it's like when they're your fish, you just, I don't know, you can bond with a fish, trust me. And a snail. Oh, I'm hoping that this guy can, like, become familiar with me and he'll come up to me. 
you know, that would be awesome. Probably won't happen, but <laughs> still. Anyway, so that's everything that's been happening with these guys, and I think. Oh yeah, if you're gonna put veggies in your tank, you have to. They say braise them. I steamed mine. The reason I steamed them was because people were saying you should boil them for for a minute and then put them in cold water or something but I was just worried that we'll somehow get chlorine in them so I just I steamed them in one of those those steam packs um, and they softened up really nicely then I just put them in the freezer so they would go cold but still soft and then I put them in and they seem to be able to eat off them just fine I think that's just easier but then you know if you do a whole steam bag of veggies then obviously I had to eat the rest of the veggies so I don't know how I feel about that I guess we'll both be getting healthy but anyway I am rambling a lot but this guy is not allowed to get lost. This guy is the master of hiding. He has so many hiding places. And there's not that much in the tank. But he... He knows how to hide. And he knows how to go undetected as well. And also, I'm going to try spinach. Tomorrow. I don't know how much he eats. I don't know if I should be putting veggies in every day or like... What? But... I, I am going to try getting some spinach because it's good for their shell and it helps it grow and that's everything that's going on with these guys my cat is so confused my cat thinks I have a new TV he cannot see the f he can't seem to see the fish or know they're real I mean she and she's really jealous but you know I love you the most I do these guys are just entertainment nah I love these guys so I'm not gonna lie they're so 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 cool I can't wait to see like when they get bigger I can't wait to see somebody tell me these uh, double sword tails get really big but he's the tiniest little one he's also the fastest like the way he moves his tail when he swims he like goes like this like does them together and it makes him go real fast watch him like the others kind of flap it side to side he just like does his little it's like he has different like gears or something in his tail and I can't wait to see how this guy's tail heals Janet's tail <laughs> wait I better go because you guys are surely bored um, I did explain about the filter didn't I my plan to try and make it a bit quieter i hope that was understandable and thanks for watching bye